Meghan Markle and Prince Harry could pick a close royal family member to act as godparent to their son Archie as Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, are not expected to be chosen for the role. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are to see their firstborn christened in early July, two months after his birth. Speculation has been rife about who the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will choose to appoint as godparent to Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor but Harry's brother Prince William and his wife Kate are expected not be picked for the role. Royal commentator Camilla Tomini suggested another member of the royal family could be selected due to the close relationship they have with both Meghan Markle and Harry. Speaking to Today, Miss Tomini said, I would put a bit of money on Princess Eugenie because she is very very close to Harry. In fact, Meghan, and is one of the closest members of the royal family to the American actress. Siblings of the parents are traditionally not chosen as godparents in the royal family due to the already significant role they will have in the child's life. Indeed, Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, did not ask Harry to be one for their three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. The Duke of Sussex is known to have a close relationship with Princess Eugenie. While Harry was raised in London and his cousin in Windsor, the pair had the opportunity to spend time together at family events also thanks to the close friendship between their mothers, Princess Diana and Sarah Ferguson. Miss Tomini was not the first royal expert to suggest the youngest daughter of the Duke of York could be asked to be a godparent to baby Archie. Commentator Victoria Arbiter earlier this year said, William won't be a godparent, because he is the uncle. It's the same reason why Harry wasn't a godparent to Charlotte, Louis and George. If we are looking at royal cousins, perhaps Princess Eugenie. Eugenie and Harry have always been close and I think Eugenie was especially grateful that Fergie was included in the royal wedding. She wasn't invited to William and Kate's wedding. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry selected St. George's Chapel as the backdrop to Archie's christening. The couple will return to the location to watch their son doused in the water of the River Jordan from the Lily Fond a little over a year after tying the knot in the same spot. Archie will wear the traditional Windsor garment for the day, a replica of the Honiton lace christening gown commissioned by Queen Victoria for the baptism of her first child, Princess Victoria, in 1841. The original gown has been worn by 62 royal babies, including Harry and his brother William, but became too fragile so the Queen had a replica made. The ceremony is expected to be conducted by the Dean of Windsor, the Rev David Connor, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby. The Archbishop of Canterbury is clearly special to the Sussexes, now with the family on more than one special occasion. He baptized Meghan and confirmed her into the Anglican faith two months before her wedding, which he officiated. A whole raft of royalty in attendance, including grandparents Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, and Prince William and Kate. The Queen is not expected to be at the ceremony due to a previous engagement. 